Hello, and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So now that we have gotten a certain belligerous belligerence out of our systems, it is time to get on with the actual mission. And, uh... Well, hopefully he's been suitably antagonized, and he now understands his place in the world, so that we won't have to educate him further. Having said that, I am once again getting humped by the Leviathan. So far, the damage is tolerable. I mean, frankly, I, I mind this less than getting attacked repeatedly, so... As long as I don't get stuck on a damn tree... Life is good. Alright. I believe I got through it. Nice. Relatively uneventful as trips through the bad place go. I will say, for, the, for your very first experience in the Lost River, this is the correct way to go. Uh, what you do is you do it in a prawn suit and you get to this point and you go, oh, I don't know how much deeper I can go. And then you accidentally slip off the uh, edge of the brinefall and you shit your pants. And it's great. 10 out of 10. Let me go. Oof. Okay, and here we are at the junction. Now where... Uh, Alright, well, now that I know that... Turn off silent running. It's time to place another beacon. And this might well be the last beacon I ever place. My stuff is all reorganized because I recharged my batteries in between episodes. There we go. There we go. I ought to be able to remember what that means. Fast forward like two episodes. And me not remembering where that is. And everybody laughing at me. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. The head standard. All right, so let's get over to Tranquility Base and gather up the stuffs we need so that we can continue our journey to the center of the Earth. And then it'll be time to meet the dinosaurs. I think that might be the most extensive base I've ever built. And I'm really pretty happy with it. I mean, I would be more happy if the uh, large multi-purpose rooms were uh, more symmetrically attached to the rest of the base. But, you know, you have to make concessions for the terrain that you're working with. And, and I really like being sort of on the floor in the brine like that.
Okay. All good. I'm going to leave the engine running, because it's fine. Just double check that I am properly parked. Oh, of course it charges from the top. Come on, developers. If you're going to discharge in one order, you got to recharge in reverse order. Like, that should be obvious, right? Alright. Samples. Four of them are planted. And one of them... is in storage someplace. I'm going to grab the storage one first. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's probably in here. It is in here. Good job to me. Uh, you guys get out of here. Don't need you anymore. Yep. That's what it is. Might as well top off the reactor while we're here, right? Oh, still chewing on that crab squid. Carry on. Um, oh, that's all I came here for. Now, I make the enzymes at the place, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. At that little pedestal. Okay, gimme, 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 and gimme. I hit a creep vine instead of a ghost weed. You get out of here. Sure. Alrighty. Got the goodies. Time to get gone. Goodbye, stalker. Have fun living alone for... ever. And we're probably not topped off, but also who cares? We're going to the place where there's infinite energy. 87% is totally adequate to get us down there. Unfortunately, I have already learned that the samples, although some of them decay, none of them decay until they go away. So, I don't need to worry about planting them in the ship. Just need to go. So it is finally time to go down there and get cured. It's interesting how this almost feels walkable. I feel like there are, there are a number of places where there are these very strange little ramps along the edges of these areas. Um, maybe, maybe they did that just to make them a little more accessible to the prawn suit and no cyclops player. But, um, I don't know, it does strike me as out of place. Ha ha, Warper. Soon I will be free of your meddling. And here we go, in the pipe. I guess I'll just go ahead and leave the pings on for now. Get run over a jerk. Or don't. I 
So I wonder what the story with the, the sonar is. Is it actually sonar? Um, if it is really sonar, I suppose this kind of resolution is technically possible. Um, but I do also feel like having it pinging and also being in silent running doesn't make a lot of sense. But, you know, the other option, given the extremely high fidelity, uh, is that it is actually something else, like LiDAR. Um, in which case, it wouldn't really look like this. It wouldn't, it wouldn't pulse out like that, I don't think. So, I don't know. Maybe LiDAR isn't a good explanation either. Is that the way down over there? Alright, now that the lights are on, I suppose I can do away with the pings. Should I be... Yes, I should. I don't know what that was that bumped into me. Fortunately, it wasn't the big bad. But he's around somewhere. In fact, I think I just heard him. I am... Oh, you know what? I am en route. To the hole. There's a particular lava dome that I always spot on my way out. And I believe that was it over to the left there. No, that's it there. Okay, I've been going too far to the left. What do you suppose that plume is doing? That's one thing that I've sort of wondered about. Oh, there he is. Rig for silent running. Is, um... So this region... Obviously... Is fairly warm. And, uh... The region below me is warmer still, and you would think that that would produce, I mean, that there would be some currents going on, right? The hot water would be, for example, rushing up, and it would be getting replaced by cold water that would be sort of drawn in as the hot water evacuated. What's going on here? All right. A little too aggressive in the down there. That's all right. I'm not super sure what I'm stuck on, actually. What's going on here? Is that for me? I don't know if that's for me, but, uh... It appears it intersected with me. Alright, guy. You made your point. I'm just gonna... Well, I guess I'm not going to just move along. I don't know what I'm stuck on here. 
but I'm stuck on something. <laughs> and now there's this. Just let me go down. I just want to go down. Come on. Now we're all stuck in here together. Is that what's going on? I have got the ship nearly vertical. Oh, there we go. We are completely vertical now. And I have a feeling that if my shields weren't up, I would be just so inconvenienced right now. All right. Well, apparently up is a direction I can go for a while. I don't know what is... What is that all about? It's, uh... One of my chargers, maybe. I am... I'm hung up on something. And I don't understand what it is. It's like... I'm caught in some geometry or something. But I don't... I mean, clearly... My booty is in a tight corner there. Alright, I'm out. Let's turn off the shield before it totally drains us. So I think there must be another way down that's more forgiving. Because that way down is apparently unusable. I do think there's a bigger one somewhere. So let's see what's off this way. Yeah, as long as he's just yelling, I don't mind. Yell all you like. doesn't look very way down-ish, does it? I don't think that's going to get me where I want to be. But there's warpers over here, so at least there's that. What do we have here? That looks like a nice big opening, doesn't it? I ought to be able to fit myself in there. Oh wait, but that's not... Yeah. Going down there doesn't do me any good. Come on now, game. Yeah, that's just a big old red herring is what that is. 
I know I don't make this trip very often, but uh, it's never been this hard to find my way down before, so what the hell. Also, why is... why... What was that? Alright. I don't understand why it's doing that. It doesn't... it doesn't do that before. It doesn't do that before. Who needs... proper tenses, am I right? Just use whichever con conjugation comes to mind. Previously, the ship was haunted by a beacon, and now apparently it's haunted by a fabricator or a battery charger. And all the while, Vic couldn't figure out how to get to the place that he's been already. Please stop. Why? Why? And where do you suppose our friend is? No, well, sounds like he's getting closer wherever he is. Seek fluid intake. Oh yeah? I guess I should. Well, here it is, the place that I magically couldn't get into before. So I guess I'm going to try again now. All right, let's see. That is what's going to happen. I really should be able to do this. Okay, what the hell? This time it just works. And we're and we're all just going to pretend that's okay, I guess. Turn off the sonar. I don't understand. But I guess I don't need to. All I've got to do is get over there, do the thing, and if I really don't want to, I don't even have to go out. That was quite a spray. I could just abandon the Cyclops down here and go and grab a sea moth or take my prawn suit out and and just be done forever but I don't think I'm going to do that but it's nice to have options don't you think alright we finally made it This ought to work. Nope, I'm definitely not leaving the ship with the engines running and in silent running. It wasn't either of those sounds. Well, what was it then? What was what was making that noise? Yeah, we're down below 50%, so that makes sense. What am I carrying? Oh, yeah. The important quest items. Okay. 
Okay, and the replanting. We're all good there. I do not need to bring my weapons of war with me to go and visit the Sea Emperor, so go ahead and just put those back. Now we're all set. I want you to know that if I had laid eyes on the dragon, I would have shot torpedoes at him. But I don't really feel like going out of my way, you know? I've had enough trepidations the last few episodes. I don't feel like I really need to go inviting any further difficulty. Yes, I could have taken the teleporter over by the quarantine platform, except that I didn't have the samples at that point, did I? Here we go. And there's a cuttlefish. Yeah, so can I just make the enzymes right here? The answer is no. The emperor specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems likely that sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters, where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had resorted to developing an artificial enzymes, which would simulate the egg's natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only source of that information may be the sea emperor herself. Itself. Yeah, and she already told us. Oh, by the way, how are we doing? Probably real bad, right? Infected. I knew that already. Okay, so... We gotta go back to the boat. Because I thought I could make the enzymes down here, and I cannot. Alright, don't worry, lady. I'll be, I'll be right back. This is not gonna take long. Mmm, feeling a little short on jetpack, huh? Nope. Golden. And now, up again. Boom. I find it a little interesting that the precursors, who seem to be so very pragmatic and unemotional, um, would build structures like this that are so aesthetic. You'd think, I would think that they would be more like me, and that they would be way, like, obsessively interested in function over form. Welcome All systems online. Alright, so, time to make a enzymes. There we go. All done. Could have saved myself some time there, huh? Speaking of time, it turns out that we are once again all out of it. So come back and see me again tomorrow, and I will deliver these enzymes to the eggs, and then we'll see what happens after that. Now, I'm assuming good things happen after that. It'll be time to go back up to the surface 
and start working on a vehicle to help us leave this place forever. Talk to you soon.